Number 81. Which compound in each of the following pairs has the larger lattice energy? And then note, Ba2 plus and K plus have similar radii, and S2 minus and Cl minus have similar radii. And then we have to explain our choices. Okay. So we have barium sulfide, which is BAS, and barium chloride, which is BaCl2. We want to find out which one out of these has the larger lattice energy. Now a lattice energy is just the amount of energy needed to take an ionic compound and split it up so that the ions act independently and they're just chilling by themselves. So um, first things first is we should see what these ions are, right? So when BAS breaks up, it's going to sever all ties between barium and sulfur, and they're going to act as independent ions. So in this case, we have barium and we have sulfur. Now barium on the uh, periodic table is in group two, so that's a plus two charge. And the sulfur is in oxygen's group, which is uh, 6A or 16, depending on what your periodic table says, and that's a negative two. Let's do the same thing for barium chloride. We'll break up the Ba and the Cl. We'll split all the ties. And the same thing here, barium is a plus two, and the chlorine is a minus one, because it's a halogen. It's in fluorine's group. Now, if you want to find out something that has the largest or the larger lattice energy, you're only going to be concerned with things that are different, right? Because the same ions are not going to make any difference in terms of being a larger amount of energy or a smaller amount. So don't even bother with the ions that are the same here. And the, the ions that are the same are, you got it, it's barium. So get rid of it. No one cares. We've narrowed it down to now just the differences between sulfur and chlorine. Now they did state up here that sulfur and chlorine have very similar radii. So I'm just going to write that down. But you might be saying, well, why does that matter? Well, it turns out that lattice energy changes are highly, um, uh, I guess, highly uh, correlated with two properties. And one of them is the changing atomic radius of the ions. If you have an atomic radius that is way lower in one of your compounds, that means that basically they're more tight, right? Closer together, their, their bond is tighter. And it's going to require a lot more energy to break up those ties and sever that bond. But since they have similar radii, I can't really make that assumption. So we got to go with the other property in which we got to look at how many electrons were transferred, whether electrons were lost or gained. So in this case, sulfur has a negative two charge. Now remember, sulfur with the negative two means that you gain two electrons. On the flip side, the chlorine, negative one, means that it only gained one electron. And in order to increase that lattice energy, you want more electrons that are transferred from the metal to the nonmetal. So the sulfur gained the two electrons from the metal. And in this case, uh, chlorine gained the one from the metal. But two is better than one. So this one gained more, the sulfur gained more. And the more electrons that are transferred, the higher the lattice energy. So in this case, it's a win-win. The sulfur is going to increase the lattice energy. So the compound that would have the higher one is the barium sulfide. And that is the end, my friends. There you go, let's color it in and call it a video. Okay, what'd you think? Thank you for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. Uh, and uh, I hope you're having a great day. Um, yeah, it's 3.17 a.m. Do I need sleep? I might. But uh, <laughs> I think I'm a little bit delirious. But anyway, I'm probably going to get some sleep right now. So I will talk to you later. All right. Have fun studying and good luck on your test. I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye-bye.